In this video, we are going to analyze a pure inductive circuit. So, the inductance is applied across the AC voltage source. So, we know the voltage source is given by Vm sin omega t and the voltage across the inductor that is the self-induced voltage is given by L into di by dt where L is the inductance volume. And from this equation, if you integrate this equation, you can find what is the current through the inductance. So, I is equal to 1 by L into integral of V dt. So, V is Vm sin omega t. So, integrated. So, if you simplify, you will get v minus Vm by omega L into cos omega t. So, this I am going to convert into sign form so that I can compare with the voltage and find the phase relationship between V and I. So, you can stop with this or you can change to sign form. Okay, Minus cos omega t is nothing but sin of omega t minus 90 degree. So, you got V and I equation. You can see here it is omega t whereas this is of the form omega t minus 90 degree. So, first let us find the impedance. So, V and I is here. So, impedance is equal to Vm by Im. Vm divided by this one that is equal to L omega. So, this impedance in a pure inductive circuit is equal to L omega. This L omega I can represent it as XL where XL is called the inductive reactance. Now let us draw the phasor diagram for the voltage and current. From the equation itself you can understand this is sin omega t and this is sin omega t minus 90 degree. It means that the current is lagging the voltage by 90 degree. So, let us draw the phasor diagram. Here it is V. So, current will be here. So, it is lagging by 90 degree. Next, we will calculate the instantaneous power. So, power is equal to V into I. You multiply these two. So, here let us multiply the two waveforms. So, I am extending the current waveform till 0. So, if you see here, this during this first interval, voltage is positive, current is negative. So, the power will be product of plus into minus will give you minus. So, power is negative here. Here, it is both are positive. So, power is positive. Here, one is positive and the other is negative. So, you will get a negative power again positive power. So, by seeing this uh, itself, you can understand that the average power will be 0. So, let us see that how you are getting the average power as 0. That is, if the circuit or the inductance is a pure inductance, that is without any resistance, then the average power will be equal to 0. Now, let us calculate the average power. So, write the formula 1 pi pi integral of 0 to pi minus Vm Im sin theta cos theta into d theta. So, sin theta cos theta you have formula. Apply this formula and then do the integration. Apply the limits. So, I have given the formula as well as the values here. So, you are getting 0. So, it means that in a pure inductive circuit, the average power will be always 0. Next, we will find the power factor. Power factor is the cosine of the angle between voltage and current. So, here in this case, phi is equal to 90 degree. So, what is cos 90? 0. So, the power factor for this circuit is said to be lagging, zero lagging. What do you mean by lagging? The current is lagging. 
so the circuit is said to be lagging next the points to remember here are for a pure inductive circuit voltage is vm sin omega t current is vm sin omega t minus 90 degree that is there is a phase difference of 90 degree so power factor will be zero and the circuit is said to be a lagging circuit and the average power is zero and the impedance is given by xl is equal to l omega or z is equal to l omega where xl is called the inductive reactance if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you